Everybody, happy wax on Wednesdays starting off this month with monotypes and these are going to be so much fun encaustic on paper and I'm going to use for this first week I'm going to use the gel press plate and just some really soft tools and some oil sticks uh, any brand will do I'm going to be using some RNF oil pigment sticks this is how they come in the tube and you don't need to store them in the tube uh, you just simply remove the plastic and they have a self-healing skin on them that can be peeled off with a paper towel and once they sit out for a little bit they'll have that uh, healing skin will form again and by just peeling it off with a paper towel they're really uh, creamy and ready to go and you can see this one has the skin has um, has formed again so I just simply remove it with a paper towel and it's ready to go and a lot of people I get this question often how do I store my oil sticks and I store them in just little uh, Tupperware you know food storage containers I usually divide them um, between warm and cool and neutral colors and just store them in um, in little food containers with the lid on and it's fine I never um, reuse that tube it's kind of hard to get them out of that tube so so trying to stick them in is wholly unnecessary. This week I've been having a lot of fun with just some abstract florals using that oil stick as my brush or my fingers. This is oil stick, it's oil paint. So with my gloved hand, I can certainly use my fingers on these, um, on these prints and that's fun too. You can use a brush if you like, any soft tool that won't scratch the gel plate. So a lot of times uh, my catalyst, number six catalyst wedge, my any rubber spatulas, rubber tools, things that you wanna think soft that won't scratch that gel plate. But I love using my finger, so my gloved hand is often used in these prints. But these are just really fun abstract florals, just using, just playing with color and seeing what happens. And the paper that I'm using is just regular copy paper from the printer. I uh, eventually, go to some hot press watercolor paper uh, and if you ever want to see any of the supplies that I use then please look at the blog post the link is always below the video and I have a full blog post each week for each of the wax on Wednesdays videos and what's fun about these prints is they can be changed and morphed all right there on the gel plate. You can blend colors. I never really uh, erase that often. I don't, you can clean them with a little bit of baby oil and a paper towel, but I don't clean it often. I often use the colors. I set my palette for the day and use uh, the same colors over and over again. So it's rare that I even go ahead and wipe it off unless I start to feel that something's, um, it, that it has too much color on it, it's getting muddy. And that's often if I change from cools to warms, something like that. Otherwise I'm reusing uh, what's there and there's not a lot of waste here going on with that oil stick. Another fun tip is to simply, if you feel like the colors, you want to change the colors or you didn't, um, it's, it's getting too much and you want to wipe it off, just blot it up with a piece of the copy paper and use that copy paper for a different project, a different abstract painting. So you never really have to waste any of this uh, good expensive oil stick. It can be used um, and you know blot it up. If you want to change the, your palette and clean off your oil plate, you can simply blot it up with that, uh, with that printer paper and use that for something else. And these prints are very relaxing. There's no mistakes ever. So it's just fun, really fun to play around with and play around with different florals, different flowers, uh, different ways of applying them. Here I'm starting to use my fingers a little bit in, um, in the green leafy areas. It's just fun to explore this. And and explore different color palettes, explore what happens when you mix the colors directly on the gel press plate, explore different florals, ghost prints. It's just a really relaxing process that, um, that has no mistakes and you can use these in, um, as a print themselves. You can use them as collage in, a, um, in an encaustic piece. 
Use your favorite color palettes, explore new color palettes. There's just endless opportunities here. And I'll warn you that it's addicting. So you might want to have an entire stack. I'm using half pieces of copy paper here. So the copy printer paper I've called cut it um, in half pieces. And I have a, just a great big stack even before I am beginning. So I don't have to stop and, um, and continue you know, tearing pieces in half. I have it ready to go. And it just that half piece of paper almost fits this uh, five by seven gel press plate almost perfectly with a little a nice white border around the edge. And you can see these oil sticks are so fun because you can actually paint with them using them as your tool. And they make, you know, you can make line and, um, and geometric shapes and all kinds of things. You can make abstract landscapes are fun and we'll probably do that later this month. And uh, you can also use your finger. It's fun to paint with your finger. I actually um, am mixed some of these colors on a separate palette with my finger and um, to create different colors with my um, with my oil sticks and you can mix them on a separate piece of plastic and uh, or your palette plastic palette and then have all new colors there and I'm just using my fingers to paint so that's another fun way to do this and also you can layer you can see I'm layering these flowers and that creates a really um, nice depth effect when you go to make your print you can just keep layering and layering on top it's just just such a fun such a fun process and afterwards you can I let these dry just a little bit because they are you know I'm kind of building that oil stick up just uh, just a tiny bit so I let them dry for it doesn't take a long time on the paper uh, depending you don't want to get it oversaturated with oil stick for cert for certain um, you don't want to to build it up like you're building up an encaustic painting or something like that because you want that oil stick to dry pretty quickly so you know usually the next day I go ahead and um, they're pretty pretty dry and I can go ahead and put some wax some encaustic medium right there on the palette and uh, and dip them in encaustic medium and that'll pretty much seal everything in in the print and that of course gives a beautiful translucency to the paper and changes them yet again so next week uh, that's what I'm going to show is how I dip all these prints into the encaustic wax and make a beautiful translucent print And on this one, I'm going to show yet another way to approach this, these prints, and that is to create a background first with the, I'm using a brayer, a rubber brayer, and just applying color, that oil stick to create a background first and then reuse that print that I make uh, on the background to add the florals. So there's so many different ways to, to create these abstract florals that are so much fun. You can just, um, these this gel press just provides hours and hours of, of entertainment and fun here and great of uh, things to use later on once I dip these prints in the encaustic medium I can use them for a to incorporate into a painting I can frame them um, there's so many things that you can um, you can do with these great prints and they're just such a fun so fun to make and you're gonna find that you have an entire stack of beautiful prints with color and um, and fun things that you've explored once you start this I'm going to use this print to um, to and apply this to the background that I created. So I want to think about contrasting colors and colors that are going to show up on that background. So I'm using brighter, bolder colors that um, are, that are going to complement that blue background that I created. And you can layer the background. You can make um, create a nice composition where you're adding um, lighter on one side, uh, light, and then dark on the other side. Just be creative when you're when you're creating those backgrounds. Um, you can really get into it and get involved in that. And here I'm applying just an ultramarine marine blue as the background. And I did this on some hot press watercolor paper and that supply is listed there on the uh, on the blog post as well and that hot press is a smooth surface so it really works well for the gel press plate and here I'm applying some just some um, colors that will show up on that ultramarine blue really nicely and this is a it's a fun way to create these two to create the background first and like I said add um, you know one area lighter and um, and maybe the bottom darker to create a really beautiful back contrasted 
background when you uh, when you go to apply these florals and you'll find that um, when you create that sort of dramatic back background with lights and darks and really play around with it that it gives a really fun effect when you go ahead and apply your florals it adds more depth to your uh, to your composition there so I hope you really enjoyed and have fun with this wax on Wednesdays. And if you'd like to see some of the florals that I created that I show here at the end of the video, the roses and the daisies, they are on my new Patreon page and the extended version for wax on Wednesdays is now available on the Patreon page. So I hope you'll join me there. The videos on the Patreon page are either the slowed down version of Wax on Wednesdays or some added additional content to the Wax on Wednesdays videos. So I hope you'll join me there and have a great Wednesday. See you next week. Happy Wax on Wednesdays.